Hey viewers, welcome to VL Astrology and I welcome to this channel which actually is your celestial guide and through the ebbs and flows of life. Our channel dives into the heart of astrology with videos that explore the intricate dance of the nine grahas shedding light on the dual nature of their transits, revealing both their challenges and gifts. As you know, they go hand in hand. And uh, what are the insights that uh, I are offered on this channel are upfront and honest advice, no sugar coating, and practical and accessible for simple doable remedies to general guidance. If at all you feel that these are too blunt and too upfront videos, definitely some guidance is also coming your way. And forewarnings does not involve any kind of fears. Our content is designed to empower, not to frighten, forearmed with knowledge. You can navigate your path with confidence. So if you're looking for a reading with the VL, Astro VL uh, that is me, <laughs> so you can definitely book a slot for yourself and drop an email at vlastrology24 at gmail.com and your support on this celestial journey helps me continue to bring enlightening content to all of you. Please do subscribe my channel and let us explore how this video, the upcoming transit is going to be. So stay tuned. <clears throat> hey viewers welcome to VL astrology once again i'm vanita lenka i'm a vedic astrologer and today i'm going to be talking about saturn's ingress in purva badra nakshatra that is jupiter's nakshatra in aquarius sign and this is a very important a very important uh, transit because saturn is going to be changing signs also and will be actually you know uh, moving into purva bhadra in pisces one charan as well so this is definitely going to be bringing about a lot many changes globally and on the personal plane as well i will be sharing all my insights on the same in the beginning part so stay connected and if at all you don't want to hear all of this what exactly does this transit mean what exactly is in store uh global level what are the remedies please do skip and go to your sign wise prediction I will be sharing as to how to navigate through the sign-wise predictions as well. And uh, it is not as uh, the other astrologers are doing. I use different way of uh, predicting so that you yourself are well equipped and you're not seeking any help and advice from an astrologer until unless it is really, really essential. So I'm just trying to actually, you know, support you so that, you know, you just do it yourself if you are an astrologer yourself. And this is uh, the channel where you as an astrologer also can learn a lot many things, I'm sure. Whatever knowledge, little bit knowledge, whatever I have, it's all for you all. So <laughs> this is a very important and a crucial transit because it's going to be back and forth in Purva Bhadra and then Shatabisha again, and then we'll be moving into Purva Bhadra. So this is uh, then Uttar Bhadra and then coming back to, you know, because uh, this uh, Saturn will get retrograde also. So a very uh, crucial transit and you know Saturn is the, you know, karma karaka is the time, kal. So we all must be actually, you know, now well equipped. And also remember that Saturn, Jupiter, whenever they form a connection in the sky or in your natal chart, that means there is something to do with uh, giving your or imparting your knowledge also to someone else. Saturn, Jupiter is like that only. Wherever Saturn, Jupiter connect, and this is like double this Saturn and then Jupiter, and then four char Charon of Aries, uh, Taurus, Gemini, and lastly, Cancer in Pisces. So it's definitely uh, forming that kind of a connection where you should actually work through the community. You should give to the community back also. This is the time that you should check what exactly is it that you are actually missing out on. There is something that you really need to work on and navigate yourself. What is it that is a miss? Okay, I will be sharing everything with you. What exactly is this transit? What is Purva Bhadra? What is Saturn in Purva Bhadra? Something different, of course, from the league. And then I'll be sharing with you the Tara Chakra wise also, because that is very important. The Navatara Chakra for which nakshatras this transit is going to be good, which nakshatras this transit is not going to be that great. So stay tuned and lot many things in store for all of you all. Something or the other you definitely will be deriving from here. And uh, thanks for the survey that I have taken. And so many people say that, you know, don't sugarcoat, be truthful. I want to be truthful to myself. That is why I ask you all that you, if you want, I can, uh, you know, say as you wish. Because if it is harming you, if it is hurting you, then uh, definitely I'm there for, uh, you know, for you all. 
to actually help you, uh, you know, just, uh, uh, you know, take care of your mental setup also, you know, through the remedies or through the phase, which is going to be from what time to what time. So the dates are very essential. Please do write in the comment section if at all something matched up or something didn't so that I also know what exactly is happening in your life. And the comments actually keep me going and I read each and every comment. And if at all, I am not able to respond back, please don't mind. I really feel like connecting with everybody uh, on this platform. And definitely I will be connecting with everyone sooner uh, when you know I can take up the question and answers as well. So let me start with the, <clears throat> with the uh, you know, what exactly is, uh, are the dates first, okay? So as far as the dates is concerned, Shani is going to be transiting through the Purva Bhadra from 6th April to the 3rd of October. See, this is for you guys, you know, you can just make a note, take a screenshot, keep it handy so that, you know, you will uh, experience the, uh, you know, it's not difficult, you know, you have to otherwise, you know, refer to uh, something or the other again and again. So it's better that you have a consolidated one uh, under one platform. So 6th April to the 3rd of October, 2024, and then 27 December, because it is going to be turning retrograde and coming back to the Pisces Navmansha in Shatabisha. So from 3rd of October to 27th of December, it's going to be in the Shatabisha Nakshatra, then moves into the 27th of December, 2024 to 28th April, 2025. This is again going to be in Purva Bhadra. Now, 28th of April. So before to that, 29th of March itself, you know, this uh, Shani is going to be transiting out of the Aquarius sign on the 29th of March and then moves into uh, again into on the 3rd of October 2025 to 20th Jan 2026 in the um, Purva Bhadra and before that it's going to be in uh, Uttra Bhadra Pada from 28th of April till the 3rd of October 2025. Now, these are the three Navmanshas that are, you know, two Navmanshas in fact back and forth that this year, this uh, Shani is going to be transiting through. So this is very important because, you know, Aries Taurus people will be experiencing these energies even more because in, uh, D9 chart, you know, you have to check where the planet is transiting in the D9 chart also. How is it forming a connection with the planets in your D9 chart? If you have any planets or grahas in Aries sign or in Taurus sign in your Navmash Kundli, then also this Saturn is going to be actually impacting you so it's going to be back and forth as you know it's going to turn retrograde also and i will be sharing the date of the retrogression also don't worry everything is in this consolidated video in this consolidated presentation uh now you can see so saturn is turning retrograde in aquarius this year from 30th of june till the 15th of november so when it's going to be turning retrograde it's going to be back and forth in the uh, navmansha of aries and then taurus and then goes back to aries again so the Saturn is going to be <laughs> giving very good results uh, when it's retrograde for Aries and Taurus, actually. Taurus is actually, you know, Saturn is the Yoga Karagraha. So when it, turned, it turns retrograde, then it might just give some complications here and there, but it is going to be giving overall good results for especially Taurus natives. Now, Shani will be re-entering Shatabisha, as I said, from 3rd of October to 27th of December in Pisces, not much. So Pisces natives right now also are experiencing something related to Shani, slowdom, delays, frustrations, because Saturn is already in Shatabisha and Pisces, not much. Pisces, not much is a very, very important one to check because only in Shatabisha is not going to be giving any results, but it is in Pisces, not much again, Jupiter's not much. So you must uh, be uh, imparting knowledge, gain knowledge also during this time now shani's uh, journey through navmansha positions are mentioned here aries navmansha again it will be entering from 27 december earlier also i have mentioned where it is going to be transiting so 27 december to 20 uh, to 2nd february next year then taurus navmansha again from 2nd february to 2nd of march 2025 so these natives aries taurus are going to get heavily heavily impacted often because uh, in the 2024 it's going to be in the Aries Navmansha till the 12th of May, then 12th of May to 18th August again Taurus Navmansha, then 18th August to 3rd October again Aries Navmansha. So it's going to be back and forth in Purva Bhadra. And then Shani transits into Pisces uh, on the 29th March 2025 till the 3rd June 2027. And it's going to be uh, again coming back to Pisces on 20th October 2027 to 23rd uh, 2028. So heads up. 
that when uh, Saturn is forming a connection in Purva Bhadra, it is already forming a connection with uh, Jubira and then moves into the um, uh, in the in the um, uh, Jupiter's sign Pisces. Okay, so uh, as you all know, Saturn. I must tell you, Saturn symbolizes discipline responsibility and karma it's transit through zodiac signs and nakshatras brings profound effects so for aries for taurus for gemini and then lastly cancer in pisces uh, sign these people will get impacted a lot okay that is why please make a note of these dates so that you because you know if you say i am born in purva bhadra it's not going to help you uh, definitely purva bhadra people will experience uh, a lot of uh, energies i will be giving the degrees also when you are in a particular degree, it's not going to be giving that great result in Purvu Bhadra, okay? But especially, you know, when it is in Aries, Navmansha, if you have a prominent Graha in Aries, so this will impact you even more. That's how you should navigate through the uh, prediction. So it becomes Shani, Shani, Brihaspati and Mangal. That is uh, Saturn, Saturn, because Saturn is uh, transiting through Aquarius, its own zone. So Saturn, Saturn, double Saturn impact. And then Jupiter, because it's Purva Bhadra. And Aries, Navmansha means Mars. So it is a little volatile kind of a transit for this Saturn from April 6th to the 12th of May. Then, you know, Saturn is also going to be giving some profound effects, as I said, often manifesting as challenges and lessons, despite initial daunting influence, Saturn encourages individuals to confront limitations, take accountability and foster resilience leading to personal growth and spiritual enlightenment. So ultimately it is a good thing whenever Saturn is transiting a particular zone. Now this Purva Bhadra, you know, is also, you know, the uh, a very important one because when Saturn is in Purva Bhadra, so this is like, you know, it is going to align so many things, you know, um, it's a mix of influences that can uh, affect individuals depending on their natal chart and current circumstances, of course. But Purva Bhadra is associated with spirituality, mystical pursuits and transformation. When Saturn transits through this nakshatra, it can in intensify a lot many things like spiritual growth. Okay, you can deepen, uh, you know, uh, your spiritual quest, you can get involved in some, uh, you know, those kinds of exploration where spiritual uh, truths will be revealed. Uh, you can engage in, uh, you know, um, in uh, meditation, you can seek enlightenment, you can also uh, get into the introspection and inner growth. And this is also transformation because Purva Bhadra is linked with transformative energies also. No, It's a very intense uh, nakshatra, you must remember. It's a very, very intense nakshatra. And this is also going to be um, signifying a profound change and evolution across the globe. People will definitely come to know about the uh, the spiritual realms, you know, they will get connected. And this may involve letting go of old patterns, beliefs, structures. Uh, this is newdom. This is new newness. And, you know, something which is very, uh, it's a re renewal of energies also. So this is like a, a very innovative kind of, a, uh, you know, nakshatra also. So we have to let go of the past. We have to move on and we have to go ahead in lives and we have to uh, change now okay and then we are going to align or realign karma also with this uh, saturn it's a very as i said intense nakshatra so people will uh, you know this will bring about karmic lessons to the forefront individuals may confront unresolved karmic issues or face challenges that prompt them to address past actions and make amendments if you don't change then there will be definitely something amiss so you need to let go and you have to accept things as it is because there is something unresolved for everyone all everybody on this earth has something to to resolve and uh, whatever is unresolved, you must actually, you know, uh, take the responsibility of that and align to the higher principles and restructure, restructure yourself, restructure whatever is happening. See, that is why, you know, Saturn, uh, Saturn, it's, it's too much of Saturnian energy also in everyone, whosoever, like people like me, you know, um, people who are into you know too much of uh, strict discipline structure organization i'm too upfront also as you know so you know what saturn is all the time you know um asking me to do things this way right right way take the right path don't sugarcoat facts and don't be fool people 
because Saturn will not leave. The karma will not leave me and my family otherwise. And that, I will not say fear, but I know being an astrologer, if I will say something negative or if I predict anything wrong, it definitely has repercussions on me as well. So anybody who is into astrology, who is just trying to be fool others, please beware. Karma will never, ever leave you. He will. He's there. He's out there to actually, you know, uh, give you back. Okay. So that's one of the major reasons that we must restructure, discipline, organize, be, you know, re, uh, and reevaluate your goals, plans, commitments, implement disciplined strategies for achieving them also. Okay. Lay foundations to uh, the future, building future. With this Saturn's transit through Purva Bhadra, please get involved in these areas of life. Uplift and enhance yourself. And Purva Bhadra is connected with detachment and renunciation from the worldly attachments. Remember, it's not just, uh, you know, uh, uh, because it is in the 11th sign, people think that, oh, yes, we, we are in the worldly attachments. We are going to get our desires fulfilled now because it is in Aquarius sign. So this is not that kind of a nakshatra. It is Jupiter's nakshatra after all. Mm -hmm. It's a Jupiter's nakshatra. And Saturn's transit here may inspire individuals to reassess your, uh, you know, material desires and attachments and to cultivate greater sense of detachment and inner peace. Ultimately, you will get, when you're detached, what happens? You know, you don't feel anything about what others are saying, what others are doing. It doesn't impact you any which ways. So become that, isn't it? Challenges and delays is a part of this. You will experience a lot of obstacles and hurdles also. You will feel that you're, pretty much weak whatever you are doing you're not gaining that uh you know uh, uh, result in that particular area so there are challenges it is essential to approach these challenges with patience perseverance and willing willingness to learn to grow with them Gr grow with them and grow from them also it's not that you have you, not, nothing stops nothing stops no one is stopping anything in the world but it's just that that we all have to I will share the remedies also in a bit. We have to accept these things. And we have to keep continuing doing our karma. We must do that. Overall, Saturn's transit through Purva Bhadra Nakshatra will encourage you all to delve deep into spiritual journey, embrace transformation, align with the higher purpose and principles. And it is also going to be giving you that opportunity in fact, all the transit positions give us the opportunity to learn something from, from them. So it's time to learn from this transit, the inner ref, uh, time for inner reflection. Learn to get disciplined, restructure, and lead yourself towards the growth, profound growth and evolution. So these are all, uh, you know, the encouraging factors of the Saturn in the Purva Bhadra. And also remember this nakshatra. This nakshatra symbolizes the soul authority. This is, um, okay, why I'm saying so is because it symbolizes uh, uh, the ray of sun. So the ray of sun means what? Hope, isn't it? The sun symbolizes the soul authority, self-realization, suggesting spiritual insight and connection with the divine. A single ray of sun holds diverse philosophical interpretations across cultures. That is why it is a symbol of illumination. It represents clarity, insight, and understanding, breaking through the darkness and ignorance. So it's a very beautiful nakshatra in that sense. That ray of hope, unity, oneness. So whatever is uh, happening in the world, so that is why I've mentioned that this is the catalyst this is this nakshatra is the catalyst it's going to be bringing about that peace and creation you know um, that interconnect connectedness of things and universal source from which the creation emerges so it's going to be manifesting some divine presence you know in the and uh, hope and renewal energy okay amongst ama amidst adversity remember there will be adverse situation but you will be out of it as well there will be some hope, renewal and positive positivity during this time amongst people. Saturn is masses, no? So focus and 
be vigilant, be concentrated, illuminate your aspect of lies which are not illuminated. This is the time which is giving you that um, uh, encouraging impact. I will be sharing uh, uh, in a bit of the uh, Navtara chakra also if you're born under certain nakshatras. Now, and, uh, this is also going to be giving you life-giving energy, sustaining growth. The sun energy is like that only. It's going to give you that vitality, that growth that, uh, you know, that you're waiting for. Okay. And let's move on with the presentation. So, okay. Now coming to the Navatara chakra. Okay. Now, if you are born in Ketu, Mars, Suns, Nakshatras. Okay. So this is going to be a little bit of a difficult transit for you all. Now, Ketu is nakshatra born. You have to see from your own nakshatra. That is wherever your planets are. Suppose you have in Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, any planet from 0 to 13 degrees, 20 minutes. Or 26 degrees, 40 minutes to 30 degrees. Okay. Now, if you have any planets in these nakshatras, in uh, Ketu, uh, like Ashwini Maghamula, or in the any planet, I'm not saying moon, ascendant, no. If you have any Dasha Lord also in these nakshatras, so this will bring about some health issues, delays, frustrations. It might just take extra time as compared to what was supposed to be done immediately. So you will get a little frustrated. Also health issues, especially the health issues would be for the ones who have their, uh, you know, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius sign. So these people might have some health issues. Taurus, Virgo, Virgo, if you have any planet in Virgo, then also this might bring about some health issues in between 0 to 10 degrees and 23 degrees, 20 minutes to 30 degrees. As I've mentioned here, please make a note of these because these are the major important degrees which matter the most, you know, the degrees that I have mentioned here. So these degrees, please make a note of these. If you have any grahas in this, so, if you have any graha in this, that means this is uh, Ashwini Magha Mula. Okay. If you have any degrees here, that means it is going to be uh, Kritika, Uttara Falguni, Uttara Ashara. Okay. If you have any degrees here, so it means that it is going to be uh, the uh, Mangals Nakshatra, Mrigishira, Chitra, Dhanishta. So, if you have any planets in these degrees, then you will experience the results even more. All right. So that's what Ashwini, uh, then uh, Magha Mula. So you please make a note of. So if you have any planets in your natal chart or your Lagna or your moon in these, then this is little precarious. So don't get involved in any litigation, loans. It might just bring about some delays and frustrations even more. And then if you are thinking of uh, a house change or, you know, you're thinking of, any, uh, you know, uh, education, starting of education, uh, going overseas, etc. So this might be a little, I will be sharing uh, the predictions also, but you need to be extra, extra careful. You people have to, because this is a challenging uh, impact. Okay. So as I mentioned initially, what is Shani? So please make a note of Shani and Purva Badra Nakshatra, which is associated with spirituality, mystical pursuits and uh, transformation when Saturn transits through this nakshatra it can intensify themes in various aspects of life also this is going to be bringing about because it is the uh, you know 9th 10th 11th 12th lord's connection in the natural zodiac because 9th lord is and 12th lord is ruled by Jupiter and Saturn rules the 10th and the 11th signs of the natural zodiac so this is like dharma artha kama moksha getting connected so this will be emphasis, uh, bringing about emphasis on belief system, education, travels, changes in a ac legal academic pursuits, encourages growth uh, and patience, perseverance, promotes hard work because it's in the Capricorn ruler also. So it will promote hard work, practicality, long-term planning, focus on career and ambition. So you need to be really working hard on those areas. Don't ignore hard work is the key highlights uh, uh, collective uh, goals, innovation, societal progress. See, whenever after 30 years, this uh, nakshatra is getting active. So something, you know, you if you go back and see, you know, some innovations would have been made during this time period. So this is like, it is going to be 
uh, encouraging community involvement, forward thinking, you know, the traditional approach is now going to be, you know, over and something very innovative and newness, you know, that newness is coming, coming in and people are going to get very spiritual because Pisces is the ruler, uh, ruled by Jupiter as well. So this is like it fosters spirituality, compassion, emotional boundaries, you know, you will actually be more forgiving and people will become very uh, much inclined towards healing others and themselves as well. So a lot uh, about, you know, if I keep on uh, just saying, you know, it is, it really is going to be uh, too much of, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, you know, about uh, Saturn and Purva Bhadra. So please make a note of these, uh, this, these are just the snapshot, this you can make a note and uh, you will get to know what exactly it does this mean. And uh, then these are the remedies. Okay. See, very, very, very simple remedies. And if you will do it, definitely you will feel uh, very comfortable. If you are yourself experiencing that this is not giving me good results, please perform these remedies. These are all doable and general remedies. I give specific remedies to the people who come to me for consultation, who seek advice and help on one-on-one -on -one level, then I just on that basis give the remedies. And they are also very practical and simple remedies. But if at all you are not able to consult me or um, not getting a slot for yourself, so please do these remedies. These are equally very easy to do and impactful also. So don't worry. Uh, recite Hanuman Chalisa. Uh, offer prayers to Hanuman Chalisa for strength and perseverance. If at all, you're losing out on uh, these areas of life. So I've given you why you should be doing. Uh, then practice meditation and mindfulness to cultivate inner peace and clarity of thought. Donate black sesame seeds and black clothes to the needy to appease Saturn. Now, why we do these remedies? You know, people think that why black? You know, why uh, we are saying that we should do all these things? Why we should donate only black? Saturn is, you know, Saturn can come in any form to bless you. Feed the crow, feed the, you know, feed the needy uh, with black sesame and all that. Because, you know, Saturn's, these are Saturn's ingredients. Saturn's, Saturn represents them. Every planet has some colors and numbers and, you know, they have been allocated uh, the uh, food, uh, food items as well. Perfume, suppose, is for, represents Venus. You should not donate perfumes you know if you have a strong venus uh, i have a very strong venus so i don't donate i don't donate as in like i even don't even gift i don't like to gift also uh any perfumes to anyone so be careful about all of, all of these you know so worship lord shiva and offer water to lord shiva shivalingam you know you can even do rudra bishekam during this time offer prayers to lord surya or perform surya namaskar surya, surya salutations okay for resilience, vitality. If at all you're losing out or you don't have all of these, so you can do these remedies. Recite Vishnu Sastranam or offer, because it's in Jupiter's nakshatra. Prayer to Lord Vishnu uh, for guidance and blessings. Perform charity or volunteer work for the elderly and underprivileged. Chant the Bij Mantra of Saturn. Om Sham Shanishcharaya Namaha. You can do it 108 times every Saturday. Or you can do it regularly also if you want to. Or you can chant Shani Gayatri Mantra or donate black clothes to the needy. Okay. So this is what is uh, this uh, video about. And uh, surely I will be uh, sharing my insights on the same as well. Uh, as per how, you know, this is going to be and uh, how we can actually, you know, uh, make the best use of this uh, this Saturn's uh, transit also. I will be sharing as per the uh, 12 sign predictions, okay? So let me start with the 12 sign predictions. I hope you all have got a lot of clarity on this transit. And this is not to be uh, just a dreaded, uh, you know, one that, you know, it is going to be giving only bad results. No, it is going to be giving mixed results. If you make the best use of this transit, it's going to be in your favor. Otherwise, it can obviously give negative results also, especially the ones who are in Ashwini, Magha, Mula, or uh, Kritika, Uttar, Falguni, Uttar, Shada, or Mrikshira, Chitra, Dhanishta. So if you have any grahas in these, or if you are having the dasha of Ketu, Sun, and uh, Mars, then this transit can bring about some, um, some problems, some issues that you have to deal with, okay? So health, especially health, uh, litigation, finances, uh, depending on your personal chart, you can experience the 
issues coming to the sign wise predictions so i hope i have covered everything uh okay yeah i've given all the dates etc because i'm very particular about the dates if the dates go wrong then i'm uh, good for nothing i i find myself good for nothing then okay ascendant moon and dasha okay dasha antra dasha sign now what is this now i always uh, try to explain this in every video because you know people come up and and say that it's not uh, understandable so you must uh, understand that um if you are in a dasha of a particular graha suppose you are in the dasha of uh, jupiter okay and jupiter is posited in libra in your natal chart in your birth chart please make sure i'm talking about the birth chart now in your birth chart you suppose you are your ascendant is gemini but your dasha lord is seated in libra so it will give results from libra even more your your personality will not change we don't change but when the dasha comes in we change our personality also changes suppose we change the place we start eating talking etc you know and we start looking also very different we start wearing some different clothes so why when the dasha changes we will not change so that is why make libra your first house and see from your natal chart where other planets are sitting now you rotate the chart as per libra okay so right now it's aries so maybe we rotate the chart to libra all the planets will shift out no so we will hear the libra reading and if it's jupiter dasha so it's a long dasha so go to the antra dasha sign and then you will find that it is giving results as per the antra dasha also okay similarly so rotate the chart and then bring the transit positions superimpose them when you superimpose the transit positions on your libra sign uh, you know planets then you will now you can blend okay now it is matching my shani is in capricorn in libra sign so when we make it libra so it becomes my fourth house and my shani right now is going to be transiting the fifth house in purva bhadra so that's how you will get the results okay saturn is forming a 212 relationship from fourth house and the fifth house it is my yoga karagraha now it becomes my yoga karagraha so it has to give me good results but it will give some changes at the workplace for example so see it like that okay so if you have any doubts please feel free you can ask n number of times i will respond back n number of times times also somebody said that you know you are not tech savvy so you cannot make uh, you know uh, you cannot make the uh, video on the same no i can do it separately also but you know then again and again it's better that i share uh, in every video so that you know i don't mind doing that is better that you people understand it well okay so let's start with the aries readings first so for aries reading for aries people what's happening here your saturn is till now let me change it it's still in shatabisha showing shatabisha okay now saturn is in jupiter's nakshatra okay so if you have any grahas between 0 to 13 degrees 20 minutes or 26 degrees 40 minutes to 30 degrees so you people will experience something to do with your finances something amiss as far as your financials is concerned as far as your travels is concerned you might have fixations about your own personality about your own thought process you will not understand what people are trying to say you will focus on self awareness self discipline and personal responsibility also undoubtedly but you will actually you know you need to redefine your, you know your self image and your personal identity as to how you can improvise how you can grow spiritually how you can overcome insecurities you will get some leadership role to play out right now and this is one of the major most important transits for education you can impart education you can you know acquire knowledge in education also during this time and you can be you know that self aware about your surroundings now you will be more channelized okay i have to uh, do this i have to uh, have good relation with this person and so person or i have to just lie low and stay calm and aloof this is good time for uh, travels if you have any travel plans you can 
definitely plan your journeys as well. But for the ones who have uh, these degrees working in your chart for Aries rising, if you have any graha also in these degrees that I've mentioned, then this might bring about some complication here and there as regards to your health, as regards to your uh, working with the community or the leadership role that you have been assigned makes you little aloof and you stand out of the crowd and you're not mixing with the general public. So, but this will bring about some changes uh, as regards to your uh, job is concerned, as regards to your travels is concerned, house change, place change, health of the mother might suffer as well. Okay. So this is definitely the remedies I've given you. You can perform the remedies, the rituals. You can do Rudra Abhishekam. You can do Vishnu Sahasranam as well. This is actually going to be giving a very good results if you are into teaching profession, if you are yourself into some finance, law, this is a good transit for you, okay? Coming to the next sign, that is Taurus. Now for Taurus natives, let me just change this, okay? See, for Taurus natives, this is the Yoga Kara Graha, which is going to be transiting in the uh, 11th house of yours it is already there but now it is going to be in the nakshatra ruled by jupiter which is the 8th house ruler as well now this is good for the uh, astrologers occult sciences people research oriented people you know who are into research etc and this is about uh, the ones who are dealing with the insurance of others or taxes of others or other people's money who are handling, you know, some people handle the stocks and crypto, etc. of other people, financials, you know. So these people will experience a lot of upheavals and changes here and there. But it is definitely very positive for uh, your, uh, you know, material security, financial security. You will emphasize more on the self-worth during this time period. You might experience delays and limitations and you know adopting a conservative approach to manage your financials. You need to come out of that. You need to change your thought process. Do something very promptly, you know, very different, innovative and uh, current times. You're just adopting the same ritual, same uh, you know, a uh, way of or techniques of uh, handling situations and you're not getting any good results. So you need to work in a very broad-minded and a very uh, current situation, uh, you know, current uh, uh, way, you know, not the primitive way of handling things. So manage your resources well. Don't have, uh, you know, those self-doubt, doubting ability, you know, which is actually taking a toll on your mindset. Uh, since this Jupiter, uh, this um, Saturn has transited your 11, uh, 10th house, what has happened? There is a lot of workload on you. But it is also giving you that uh, authority at the workplace. You are actually, you know, uh, doing really well for yourself. You're working day in, day in night. You're really struggling also. But at the same time, it is giving you that experience, which is learning experience for you for life. And when Jupiter is connecting, so this definitely is going to enhance these energies even more. Because earlier it was in Rahu's nakshatra. So Jupiter definitely is going to be coming, uh, entering your first house. And Saturn is a yoga karagraha forming a connection with Jupiter. So this is going to give you exponential financial growth. And remember, Jupiter is the ruler of the ninth and, ninth and the 12th Lord of the natural zodiac also. So this is going to give you that inner peace, that spiritual growth. You're going to be meeting those kinds of people, gurus and mentors who are going to actually help you grow. Your travels will give you some a learning experience also. This is not a planet of attachments. So the more you are detached, the better the relationships get. So you don't need to get absorbed or consumed by the, you know, uh, by the surroundings and, you know, don't get consumed by uh, what others are saying and doing. Don't get carried away. Oh, uh, my relationship, my this, my that. No, you have to focus on your karma. You focus on your inner growth and this transit. Definitely, it's good to go for you in your favor, okay? Then you're good to go. 
coming to the next sign i've given the remedies in the beginning part please do refer to the remedies they are really helpful and very simple and doable remedies if you are looking for a private consultation for personalized remedies and predictions you can book a reading with uh, uh, with me one on one reading interactive session there are no recorded sessions these are all live readings so you can connect with my team vlastrology24 at gmail.com and they will respond back to you as per your time just time zones so for gemini natives let me see now what is happening for gemini you see um saturn is your eighth lord also and saturn is your luck lord ninth ninth house lord also okay now with this saturn's ingress in the jupiter's nakshatra your seventh and uh twelfth uh seventh and tenth houses are also getting active and Jupiter is going to be transiting from May onwards your 12th house. Now, the theme that is playing out is that you need to work on your relationships now. You need to focus on uh, communication, learning, and relationship with your siblings, your family members, and with your partner also. This will give you some a disciplined approach to learn, to study, to be more effectively communicating and you will be able to make some major decisions as well during this time period. You are going to be actually getting in the depth and detail of everything now. You are going to be looking at the bigger picture in a very different perspective. If you're not, you should. Okay, challenges will be there because it is the eighth, uh, eighth house uh, lord in the ninth, uh, in the uh, you know seventh and tenth houses nakshatra. So this is going to be bringing about some, uh, you know, conflicts and you will be overcoming the distractions and conflicts with relatives, friends, uh, and all the challenges that you're facing. You will be definitely uh, coming out and you will do well in, and you will really be uh, uh, coming out in the flying colors. Now, if you have any of the planets in uh, your 11th house in airy sign from zero degrees to 13 degrees 20 minutes or you know 26 degrees 40 minutes to 30 degrees that is in sun's nakshatra or you know in leo or sagittarius so you will definitely be experiencing something to do with your relationship with your friends with your uh with your seniors and co-workers also so you need to be very cautious about all of that now you if you have any graha in Taurus sign in your 12th house from 0 degrees to 10 degrees and 23 degrees, 20 minutes to 30 degrees in your 12th house. So this will give you some kind of irritability, some kind of uh, isolating energies. You might just experience some losses also as far as your health and wealth is concerned. So you need to take care of all of that as well. So check yourself. If you have any grahas in these, then if you have any graha in your uh, uh, Gemini, um, in Gemini sign, in your Aquarius sign, and in your Libra sign, if you have any graha in z from zero degrees to six degrees, 40 minutes. So this might bring about uh, complications as regards to your relationship is concerned, children is concerned. So you need to be really taking care of all these areas as well. So losses because of children or losses to children or uh, relationship loss complication in relationship also happens some isolation and uh, so you need to be careful about all these transit positions as well and uh, as per the tar navatara chakra actually you know i'm giving the predictions now you have to be little cautious extra cautious uh, as far as your relationship is concerned from april 6 to 12th of may so this might bring about some uh, misunderstanding uh, as far as your relationship is concerned as far as your financials is concerned investments is concerned so you need to be taking care of all of that some health issues can crop up from 12th may to 18th of august this year then 18th august to 3rd of october this would be uh, again uh, you know you will be experiencing some uh, reviewing on of your uh, projects and your financials as well so this is what is going to be the theme of uh, this year's transit till 27th of December and uh, then we will be doing uh, about the next year's ingress I will be sharing my insights separately but surely this is a very um, 
uh, life changing experience that you're going to be experiencing you must acquire knowledge you must go for some, the higher picture you know the bigger picture you cannot just confine yourself to the primitive ideas change yourself now modification is required okay and things will definitely change towards better i have mentioned about this nakshatra saturn and purva bhadra in the initial summary part please go back and refer if you want to do the remedies i've given the remedies also if you are experiencing yourself you know that you're lacking the perseverance you're feeling very lazy down and out so this re these remedies definitely will help you so do it yourself you know these are do it yourself diy remedies okay so coming to the next one that is cancer Side. all right so for cancer uh, natives this transit is happening in your eighth house see you must remember that um, cancer sign jupiter exalts okay and jupiter is going to be in your 11th house from may onwards so this transit is going to bring about some relief to you but if at all you you are in excuse me, Ashwini born, or if you are having any prominent Grahin, Ashwini, Ashwini Nakshatra, uh, you know, uh, Ashwini Magha Mula Nakshatra or Kritika Nakshatra, Uttra Falguni Nakshatra, Uttra Ashar Nakshatra. So I have given the degrees in the beginning part. So if you are having any Grahas in these zones, so you might just experience some issues related to finances, health, there can be some delays and frustrations that you have to go through. Uh, whenever you're doing something, something or the other, you know, comes up and there are delays and frustrations. It's not that this transit is going to be completely bad and wrong for, uh, you know, everybody, you know, it's not going to be like that. But it definitely gives you some kind of challenges here and there. So this transit is in your eighth house, correct? Yeah, so it's in your eighth house. So this means that your focus is on transformation, shared resources, intimacy, uh, and intimacy on a very spiritual plane because it is in the Jupiter's nakshatra. You will have some complications as regards to the management of other people's money. You need to really work on your mental setup. You need to, you can have some psychological issues because of this transit as well, because it is the six, seven, eight, ninth houses connections which is forming here with saturn in jupiter's nakshatra okay so you need to uh, follow the moral paths because you know that that is something which you will be always pushed you know that no i i can take the shorter route and i can get that uh, you know um, i can achieve bigger bigger things but it's going to be all temporary. So when this is forming a connection with your sixth house energy, so you need to take care of your uh, discipline. You need to be very cautious about your uh, responsibilities. You need to figure out what exactly do you want to, uh, you know, do for your health. You need to, you can have works, workplace stress. You can have some, uh, you know, health issues. So you need to have healthy boundaries. You know, you need to be more uh, active right now. And there can be that there is some uh, partnership which can come up if you are looking for or marriage or, you know, some kind of significant uh, relationship or significant others might just, you know, come into your life. And this might be uh, a very big time support for you. There can be challenges that you're facing in your relationships. Now you need to overcome them, that, them as well. And this is also about your emphasis on uh, higher learning. You might just travel, you might just come uh, in contact with some mentors, gurus, and you might just learn something during this time period. And this is also about, uh, you know, uh, confronting religious or philosophical beliefs, dealing with legal issues, finding direction in life, etc. So your focus is on, uh, you know, those pursuits, like, you know, just finding way out. So you're working on these, uh, acquiring more knowledge also, okay? So this is why this is a, a mixed bag for you. I will not say it is completely bad because it's in the eighth house. So we cannot write it off completely, but you need to take care of these areas even more. But if you are, you know, just doing the counter uh, activities, so this will balance things out. So you need to focus on your work. Uh, don't be lazy. And if you want to go for some higher learning, this is the time. 
some remedies I have prescribed in the beginning part, please do refer to that. And it is definitely going to be helpful. If you do those remedies, they are going to be uh, general ones, but they are quite helpful ones as well. Okay. Coming to the next sign, that is Leo. So for Leo natives, this transit of Saturn is going to be in Jupiter's nakshatra, that is Purva Bhadra, Bhadrapada in your seventh house. Now, Jupiter is going to be transiting your Kendra. That is, uh, from May onwards, Jupiter's position is getting strong in your chart. And Jupiter is also your fifth lord and it's going to be in the uh, Kendra. So it's forming a Raja Yoga. Saturn is also in the Kendra. So it is definitely very positive time that you're heading to. Okay, there will be some challenges which I will be sharing uh, with you as well. So don't get little, uh, you know, uh, finicky about relationships because, you know, you can have some um, challenges in your self-expression uh, and uh, some kind of issues you have to deal with uh, as far as your children is concerned. This might bring about some, uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> creative endeavors, responsibilities towards children, even more childbirth is also possible. Uh, conception is possible. Adopting a, a pet, a, a stray pet, you know, is also possible. There can be that you are going to be taking some higher risks now and you're going to be managing your children and romance in a very different manner. There are challenges, but you're going to be handling them well. Do the remedies that I've prescribed in the beginning part. So this is what is going to be and also emphasis is on your health because you're not taking good care of your health. So you need to because it's a seventh, uh, a sixth lot in the um, uh, seventh house. You're not disciplined. You're, you're having a lot of wrong eating habits, long working hours, wrong working hours. So you need to actually manage your work. Your uh, You have to balance your life and work. You need to deal with the workplaces, uh, stress also. You need to take care of your health also during this time. And you need to draw some line, line you know, that no, I have to have this demarcation. Okay. You're doing other people's job also. So you need to work on those things. You know, no, I have to do what I am assigned right now. It's going to be taking a toll otherwise on your health. Your partnerships, your uh, marriage or uh, the significant others, you know, you're very attached to. This might influence uh, negatively right now. So if you are uh, acquiring or encouraging those kinds of uh, handling things with uh, maturity, uh, with sensibility. So this is going to be a very committed one because it's a sixth house ruler also, not to forget. Saturn is your sixth house ruler as well and it's changing the nakshatra. So uh, it, it it is eighth house nakshatra also, not to forget. Jupiter rules the 8th house as well for you. So you need to encourage commitment, royalty, loyalty, and maturity in relationship. Challenges might come up, but you will be able to confront them as well. You will be able to manage them well as well. If you are focused on transformation, uh, intimacy, or, you know, shared resources, then, you know, you will... Uh, definitely be able to sail through this transit well. And there are certain insecurities that you are having. So those insecurities might give you health issues. So it can give you stress. It can give you uh, issues related to your, you know, um, your feet region because it's, uh, to, uh, after all, you know, the bones also, you know, can uh, have some, you know, you can have some issues in the bones also. And you can have some psychological issues as well. Don't lose the right path, moral paths, because then this will be a little difficult or a challenging situation for you. I've given the remedies in the beginning part. Please do them religiously. Also, if you have any grahas or any, um, uh, you know, any kind of, uh, uh, you know, planets which are forming a connection with your, um, you know, uh, uh, Ashwini, Magha or Mula, or uh, the, they are forming a connection with Kritika Utrafalgini, Uttara Ashada, or Meghshira Chitra Dhanishta, then this transit might give you some troubles here and there related to your travels, related to your connection for with the uh, people who are working for you or who are just, uh, you know, your business partner, etc. So you need to work through that. Your friends might just, you know, be uh, the ones who are coming to your rescue they will play a very important role right now. They can be your mentors, mentor-like friends. 
you will be meeting and coming across. Jupiter's ingress in your 10th house is definitely going to be giving you upliftment at the workplace. I will be making a separate video of the same. And Jupiter is going to tame the energy of Ketu as well. So any losses, any kind of depletion of finances is going to get balanced out when Jupiter is transiting the 10th house zone. Jupiter debilitates in the 10th house, as you all know. But it is in the uh, sign ruled by Venus. So this is going to give you a Lakshmi. This is a Lakshmi Yoga, actually. So it's a good good transit for you if you are especially into marketing, business, etc. So this is a good transit when Saturn is in the Jupiter's nakshatra. Coming to the next sign, that is Virgo. So for Virgo natives, uh, Saturn is going to be transiting in the Jupiter's nakshatra in your sixth house. And this is going to be after 30 years where Saturn is transiting through this zodiac sign of Aquarius and that too in Jupiter's nakshatra. Jupiter is your Kendra ruler. So this might bring about some changes in your home, home environment. You might just be uh, learning some new subjects or you are going to be connecting with your family members. You're going to be encouraging individuals to con in, uh, 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 individuals means your family members to uh, you know, confront your childhood issues. You might just establish firm foundations, responsibility with the family. You might just have a uh, balance in your career and work a personal life now. You're going to be having some conflicts resolution as well. You're going to be actually reconciling with the people you are having some problems. So this is that way a good time for you. And your focus is on creativity, children, self-expression, and you're going to be having a lot of... Uh, you know, a responsibility towards children and parenting wise, you know, you're going to be, if you're concept uh, on the way to uh, conceive, etc. So this is a good time period. But this is about your commitment to your personal passions. You need to be more focused on relationships, this transit. Okay. And there can be some challenges in taking risks, expressing yourself authentically and managing romantic relationships also. But at the same time, at, towards the end of the day, you will see that yes, you could do it. You have handled things very well. And also there will be uh, some health issues that you have to deal with. Don't get involved in any kind of litigation, loans, etc. There can be some competition success on your cards. Also, there can be some challenges uh, in and around your feet region, knees region that you have to take good care of. <clears throat> it can give some uh, liver related issues as well. So you need to take good care of your uh, health during this time period if there is any stress that you are you know uh, the challenges or stress at the workplace there's a lot of workload so you need to balance everything during this time period I've given the remedies do them and you will definitely feel better and this is also about you know influences uh, this transit influences your partnerships your significant others your marriage your relationships your con commitment you need to be loyal towards your partner and your uh, in your relationship you need to be committed okay this can uh, be the time period you can have some suspicion or you can have some uh, confrontation with your partner also so you need to figure that out yourself uh, Jupiter's ingress in your ninth house after May for a year is going to be definitely very very positive you might just travel, you might just meet someone, the potential partner, if you have, uh, if you are solo. And this is also going to be bringing about some, uh, you know, uh, as regards to your health also, it is going to give you that relief. You will be with people now, instead of being in the uh, um, isolation, okay? So this is what is this trans uh, transit leading to, okay? I've given the remedies in the beginning part. Please perform those remedies. They are general remedies if you're feeling lazy, down and out, isolated. So all those are the remedies you can see for yourself that yes, they work. Okay. So that is something which you have to uh, do yourself. Coming to the next sign that is Libra. Okay. So for Libra natives, uh, now Saturn is your Yoga Karagraha. Uh, yoga Karagraha and transiting through the trine is a very beautiful yoga. Now Saturn is in the nakshatra ruled by Jupiter, which is the third and your sixth lord also. And it is forming third, fourth, fifth, sixth connection in a way. It's going to be in uh, Aries, Namansha, Taurus, Namansha also. Not, no doubt about it. Back and forth in Aries and Taurus. So I will give you one by one the readings. Okay. 
now this saturn is first of all going to encourage some kind of communication with people with you you're going to be on that pursuit of ever learning thing you know you want to learn you want to acquire knowledge you want to uh, bring uh, uh, you know that closeness with your people around you the significant you and also uh, your siblings your neighbors your friends they will actually play a very important role with the saturn's ingress in jupiter's nakshatra because it's a third house ruler as well and it is in the 11th house 11 places away from the saturn the rules that place so this is going to encourage a disciplined study effective communication responsibility uh, and also short journeys and you will be able to manage your time very well you really want to you know work effectively you want to overcome the distractions resolve the co conflicts that you have been experiencing now you will be able to manage everything if at all you have to change your house uh, you know job or you know if you want to lay foundations uh, to uh, your construction of a building or, or something you know which actually is required right now if, uh, to uh, the addition of your assets so this is a good and a very uh, healthy transit you know healthy time period you know favorable time period i would say and you will take uh, on the responsibilities within the family somebody will get married in the family some rituals are being performed some celebration is going to be taking place at, in the home home area home front and you're going to be also having some challenges at the workplace but you will be able to balance uh, your personal as well as your career life during this time because you're now going to be resolving the conflicts you will have conflicts at the first place but you will be able to resolve the conflicts with jupiter's ingress of saturn okay so this is like you know um giving you it's it's going to be giving you that opportunity that you're waiting for the potential uh that you uh, that you have now you will be able to utilize that potential also your focus is on creativity self expression children you're going to be more uh you know responsible now you're going to be more uh, towards uh, uh, connections, you know, with others. Uh, also investments. You're meeting those kind of people who are going to be helping you go for investments in the right channel. Okay. So challenges may arise in taking risks, et cetera, but you will be able to take right kind of advice and uh, not go overboard in your risk taking. So you will be moderately uh, speculating also. You will be moderately, you know, involved in your relationship also. You will not just get carried away. Sometimes what happens in aggression and impulse, we just break off with the partner or the ex-partner comes into our life and then we just go get carried away. And, you know, we just want, oh, wow, uh, the ex-partner has come back. Maybe that partner has some agenda, which you are not able to see. So you need to work on all these things, you know. you These are risks in life. Marriage is also risk, actually. You never know how the partner is going to be. So now you are going to be getting that clarity also. Okay, I have this, uh, you know, whether I should be going in for this or I shouldn't. Conception, childbirth, all these are going to be playing the theme. These are the themes that the Saturn in Jupiter's nakshatra is going to be playing out. You will be emphasizing on your health and your work. The productivity is going to increase. Maybe you're going to be getting a job. Some competition success is going to come to your way, come your way. And you're going to be taking care of your body, your health, and you're going to be finding that relief also with this transit. Okay. And Saturn is forming a connection with Jupiter right now in your seventh house. So relationship can definitely start. But after uh, Jupiter transits your eighth house, so things are going to be, uh, you know, getting much better as regards to your research is concerned, as regards to your health is concerned. You're going to be overcoming all those areas of life and you will feel better also. And it's really going to be very, very transformative energy. You're going to be following that spiritual path. See, whenever you're going to be have, uh, when you have, uh, when you go through that journey, you know, when you have those negative things happening over and over and over and over again in your life, the challenges then what happens you know there's some saturation that comes in and that saturation point is when jupiter transits your eighth house it actually ends those challenges that you have been going through till now because it's the end it's the end point and it is the 12th in the natural zodiac if you will see jupiter rules the ninth house and this is the 12 places away from the ninth house. That means you're going to be actually now ending those miseries. You will be coming out of those challenges and you will 
rise and shine brightly now. There is another door opening for you. But remember, you need to be more focused on giving others. Giving others is actually teaching others. Whatever knowledge you have, you must impart. You should not keep it to yourself, actually. Okay? So the more you give, the better it gets. It gets better for your children, for your own self, for your family, for your romance, all those areas, and for your investments and money making also. It is going to be very, very positive for you only if you are giving to others. Be more giving. See, Libra is a very beautiful sign for one reason because it is actually completing us, you know, in a way. And this is also uh, the division, you know, it's the center point in a way because it actually, you know, invisible half and visible half, It this is the only sign which comes in the center. So, you people actually are balanced, very balanced people. You like harmony, you know, you don't like any kind of, uh, you know, oh, uh, competition or, you know, just uh, falling prey to the worldly things even more. And, you know, you want relationships, you know, you want to build on businesses. So I have seen very strong businessmen, you know, they are really doing well if they have liberalizing. Okay. So there will be some challenges, but you will definitely come out of it. And um, this definitely is a very transformative energy that, uh, you know, this Jupiter is also going to be in your eighth house. And uh, just take good care of your health and uh, you, you're good to go. Okay. Coming to the next sign, that is Scorpio. I hope you all are liking the readings. And uh, of course... Only truth and only truth, yeah. No sugar coats and no, uh, you know, beating around the bush. Okay, do this and, you know, you will be good. No. Whatever is there, it's there as it is. So for Scorpio natives, this transit of Saturn is in your Kendra, that is in your fourth house, in your second and fifth Lord uh, Jupiter's nakshatra. So this is definitely... The theme which is playing out is about your finances, about your relationships. You're going to be experiencing some financial uh, insecurities also during this time period. But you will get, you know, that the, the, those uh, delays and limitations uh, will actually give you that um, different approach to make money out of money because you are adopting the conservative uh, approach till now. Now, suddenly you will feel that, yeah, now I can change things. I can, you know, uh, change my approach to uh, making a successful uh, big time, you know. So you will be able to manage your money funds, financials well. You will be uh, having some uh, financial issues uh, in managing other people's resources. And you can be in that self-doubt zone as well. So you need to have that um, positive aura around you. So you have to create it, you know, you have to uh, have that. First of all, you have to have faith in yourself until unless you have that trust and faith in you yourself, you will not be able to challenge others or people will also not perceive you that way because you yourself are not confident, no? So this might just give you that confidence now, that confidence which you, ha you have actually uh, missed out. You have been uh, self-doubting yourself. Now it is going to give you that energy towards, you know, bringing those energies back. Okay. Focus on your communication, confident communication. Maybe you are going to be taking some challenges and risks now. You're going to be uh, getting in that uh, disciplined studying, you know, study zone also. And you're going to be actually managing time very effectively. You'll be overcoming the distractions. You might just be resolving some conflicts around you. You might just uh, have good relationship with your people around you, your siblings, your neighbors, you're reconciling, and you are also traveling. Maybe some short distance journeys are going to be on cards and which are going to be very fruitful for you. All right. So that is what, you know, is about uh, this transit. And it is also about purchasing of some property, you're going to be selling property, some assets, uh, increase in assets, you getting to emotional and 
you know, connected with your family members. There are certain challenges in your career front. So you're going to be balancing those as well. There will be challenges, no doubt. But it doesn't mean that you are going to be not getting the resolution. There are remedies that I've given in the beginning part. So you must perform those remedies any which ways because Hanumanji is actually, you know, uh, denotes a mangal. So mangal grass. So and you are the mangal oriented, mangal ruled sign. So you must actually do those remedies. If at all you want that career and personal life balance, you must resolve the conflicts that you are going through. Some emotional security that you're looking for. You will get that as well. If at all you have that kind of approach. Don't think that, you know, you're not, you're not able to do it. You can't do it. So it's an end, no? Then and there only. Focus on creativity, self-expression. Focus on your children. Become a child like yourself. Be more disciplined. Children are very disciplined, actually, you know. Children are disciplined. And, you know, your, your creative endeavors will give you that kind of responsibility even more. You will come to know that, yes, I must actually be more authentic. People must uh, not take me for a ride. People should not take me for granted. And until and unless you have that confidence yourself, nobody else can, you know, entrust things like that to you. They cannot. So you need to manage your relationships well. You need to strike a balance between the, you know, uh, with uh, that, how you are responsible. You have to strike that balance. No, I can do it. That approach will help you in this transit because, you know, wisdom prevails. Remember, this is a transformative, very, very transformative. And it's this ray of sun, which is, you know, it's like you are in the dead end, but, you know, in the, that, that tunnel. And then there is a ray, you know, that you can see. So that is something which is the hope that you are clinging on to. And that is where the success falls and comes. in. Okay. You need to manage your uh, life really well yourself and jupiter is wisdom knowledge expansiveness positivity so if until unless you have that faith in yourself the saturn energy is not going to help you give others donate donate as in like just do some uh something to, uh, to do with your you know imparting of knowledge if you are into that do it acquire more knowledge wisdom will prevail and you will definitely feel better also okay you will have a good health during this transit and it will give you that vitality also that courage also now you will experience a lot of positive energy around okay coming to the next time i have given the remedies in the beginning part please do those remedies it is going to be definitely helpful uh, general remedies but they are going to be quite helpful okay and navatara chakra also i have mentioned if at all you have certain planets in those degrees they can give you some issues here and there so coming to Sagittarius sign and uh, Sagittarius natives, this transit is happening in your uh, third house. See, third house transit of Saturn is not bad. And it is going to be in your Lagnesh's nakshatra now. Lagnesh's nakshatra means that you're going to be actually looking at the world in a very different perspective. You're self-aware, self-disciplined. Now you want your, um, uh, you know, that is that responsibility now you're going to be getting that in that zone of the uh, self-disciplined uh, way of living, which you were not actually having in Rahul's nakshatra, because then you were going outbounds and you're not doing anything and everything, or scattered all over the place. But now you're going to be having that sense of responsibility. Yes, I can do this. Yes, I will achieve this. So all of those energies, you know, you're going to be redefining everything. You're going to be actually giving uh, getting that strong sense of identity now so when you're getting all these so you're going to be overcoming the challenges also in life you will get the challenges any which way saturn's is ingress is going to be there somewhere in the horoscope after 30 years it's going to be in purvabhadra so it has to give you that uh you know challenges also you have your own set of challenges till now when Saturn was transiting in the third house, complications and in communication. You were having restriction. You were having uh, difficulty in short journeys. You were experiencing some complication or uh, some kind of uh, irritability amongst uh, your siblings, neighbors, something to do with that. But now you're going to be overcoming all of those with this wisdom, with this Jupiterian thing which is going to be prevalent right now in everybody's life 
It's a very transformative nakshatra, remember. Okay. So there will be challenges, but you will be able to overcome some insecurities you will have. But at the same time, you're going to be emphasizing on overcoming all of that. And you're reconciling with the people around you. You're going to be communicating your mind, your uh, the way you look at things. You're going to be also emphasizing on your financial stability now. How you can grow materially. You're thinking about all of those as well. Any challenges that you're experiencing. Now you're looking at a very different way with this. It's You will be experiencing it very soon. When I'm making this video, it's March. But you will, and that's why the heads up. So you will, if you are getting all of that, because you know, after the eclipses, uh, you will start feeling these energies even more strongly. Yes, I have to do it. Yes, I have to manage my fun funds very well. I have to manage my resources. I can do it. That self-worth, that uh, establishing the sense of value in you and not self-doubting, that is something which you will experience very soon or you already have because the storm doesn't build in a, uh, you know, in a minute or so. It's it, it takes time. So if you're experiencing all of that, so that means that it has already started to give you the results. You're feeling all of that and you will focus on communication, learning, relationship with your siblings, with people around you. You're going to be more disciplined now. And if you're not, you should. If you're not, you should, right? And it will give you some kind of effective communication journeys, short journeys, which are going to be fruitful. Some presentations, you're going to be ex experiencing everything, you know, very um, positively. All the dates are there in the beginning part. Please do refer the dates and the remedies also. And the Navdara Chakra also. It's very important. If at all you have any grahas in those, so you will experience all of that. And I think I'll be doing the timestamps myself or if anybody can help me with that, all the more better. And... This is also going to be giving you, uh, you know, um, any challenges that you have, you are experiencing that it will give you that time uh, to, you know, resolve all those challenges also. Challenges will be there. Remember, all the planets have their good as well as bad parts, or we can say something which is, uh, you know, always giving you, uh, you know, the highs and the lows. It is not just that it is going to be all hunky-dory all the time. They have their challenges and their gifts as well. Okay. So whatever the challenges you're going to be experiencing, you're going to be managing them very well. You will get that sense of responsibility. You will have that sense of, uh, uh, you know, wisdom. So you will be able to re resolve the conflicts with your friends, relatives, people around you, the significant you. Okay, then this is also one, uh, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, this is also one of the uh, transits which is going to be good for your home and family emotional security. It will revolve around that also. You will encourage your, uh, you know, your um, uh, family members to move ahead. You will encourage them to study more. Maybe somebody who is, uh, you know, in that zone where uh, acquiring of knowledge and connecting with the childhood or uh, picking and choosing your subjects, buying property, selling property, taking responsibilities uh, on the home front, that is also going to get activated with the Saturn transit in Purva Bhadra. And there will be challenges which may arise um, at the career front also. So you need to figure that out as well, especially, especially in between 12th May to 18th of August. So you need to actually work on that very, very cautiously. If you are experiencing some challenges in your love relationship, 6th April to 12th of May, resolve them rather than, you know, just running away from them. All right. So you need to figure that out that you know there will be challenges how you can resolve them have cordial relationship with your co-workers with your seniors also okay so that is how this transit is going to be for the Sagittarius natives all right please uh, refer to the dates and the remedies that I mentioned in the initial part you will definitely uh, get a lot of insights on the Navtara Chakra as well okay coming to the next sign which is Capricorn. For Capricorn natives, uh, this 
transit that is ascendant moon dasha andra dasha sign wise as i say so this is going to be a very important transit from the 30th of uh, sorry it's getting retrograde on the 30th of june so i'll make a separate video of the same so from the 6th of april to the 3rd of october this transit i'm covering this time so this is going to be the transit where your um, you know your theme is going to be uh, challenges overcoming challenges in the overseas places if it if at all you have been spending a lot of money now this is going to plug those energies as well suppose you know you're buying something you are impulse buying that impulse buying is going to get plugged in now you're going to stop your emphasis is on spirituality now you might just spend money on donations on visiting spiritual or religious places that is different but now it is going to be giving you that growth also your mental growth, your spiritual growth, your subconscious mind, all of that, you know, the self-introspection, meditation, etc. Now you're letting go of your past baggage with this transit in Purvu Bhadra. It is a very, very intense transit, actually, you know. So you need to actually take good care of your mental setup. Don't be self-destructive. Self Don't think negatively right now. You will find that inner peace. You will you will be able to overcome the challenges, but you will get the challenges also. Don't give up. It's just a phase. And then you will definitely be out of it also. And beautifully, I would say. Right? So any kind of uh, meditation or you know any kind of retreat, if you want to join in or you want to just go for, this is the transit for you. You must join somewhere. Uh, just try helping somebody in the hospital. That is also a very good remedy for you. Go to an old age home. Sit with the old people. You will feel better. Okay. Then also it is going to give make you very uh, self-disciplined. This is a very positive transit for personal responsibility. Taking personal challenges and responsibilities. You are worried about your expenses. The, you are feeling that, you know, there is no relief and solace coming in since Saturn transited to your second house. It is also the Sarasati for the people who have, uh, you know, uh, Capricorn rising or moon. I see from ascendant also on the physical plane, it affects, even if you don't want to accept it, but I do take it from ascendant and moon both. So you need to redefine your self-image. You need to work on your identity during this time period as well. And it is going to be making you very strong. You will accept the challenges, you know, which are thrown at you. You will overcome the insecurities that you are having. See, I'm not saying you will not have all of these. You will, but you will be able to overcome all of those as well because the wisdom is definitely prevalent with this transit. And you're going to be getting some leadership roles. You're going to be working really hard. There are challenges at the workplace that you're going to be overcoming as well. You need to be careful of what you speak. Your speech is actually uh, getting very rough with Mars also there, you know, for some time. So you need to take care of all of those energies as well. Also, you will be experiencing some delays and limitations in your financial matters. You need to be careful in uh, your in, with your investments also. Don't get carried away. Uh, you know, you need to manage your money well. It's your money after all. So you need to really take care of your uh, money matters. So take the advice of the right kind of people. Not the friends, I would say, but people who are maybe the experts, you know, who can give you that kind of advice. And don't self-doubt. Don't self-doubt that, you know, no, I can't uh, do this. Oh, I'm, that confidence is lacking, you know. So you will be able to overcome all those things as well. So establish a sense of value, your value system. Stick to that. Don't leave that path. Otherwise, it is going to be a very, 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 very challenging situation for you. Also, it is going to be giving you some kind of connection with your siblings, your neighbors, your relationship, your learning, your acquiring knowledge, your communicating now. Also, you're going to be effectively overcoming the distractions, whatever distraction you have. So this is definitely a mixed bag for you. Saturn is your lagnesh after all. So it has to give you some uh, resolutions as well simultaneously. If you have challenges, Solution will also come along. So this is a good time to resolve issues with your siblings, with the people around you, the significant you, conflicts with your relatives, etc. You know, if you have, 
you can resolve those things as well. I'm not talking about marriage. I'm not talking about all the time financials. This is a very spiritual time. And after 30 years, the Saturn is going to be in Purva Bhadra. So it's a very intense one. The people who are losing hope now, they will get that hope. They will get that, uh, you know, if at all they are having, they're struggling, they will feel better. Okay. So you need to accept this time period. Don't think that, you know, it is, uh, it is never going to come to an end. There is always that, you know, the tunnel and then sun, the ray of sun. So what are the sun god? You'll feel better. Do the remedies. I've given the remedies and you should also go through the uh, dates that I've mentioned and the Navatara Chakra also. That is also very, very effective and uh, helpful. If you have any planets in those areas, in those degrees, then this might just give you some challenges to meet with. Okay. Coming to the next sign that is Aquarius oops One sec. so for Aquarius natives this transit of Saturn is going to be in your first house of course and first house transit uh, Saturn since January 2023 Saturn is here and it was in the previous year, 2022, also in June to April, uh, August, you know, it was there. So you have been experiencing quite a lot with this transit. You know, you have started to self-doubt. You are not a uh, lot of discipline and a lot of workload is there. And you are just trying to, you know, suddenly run through the temples and religious places and getting all the pujas done and every whatnot. Saturn is in your lagna. So what happens, you know, it's Sade Sati for you. So you... It's, I take from Lagna also, I take from Moon also. You can contradict me, no problem, but it works. Because if you have challenges physically, if you are Aquarius ascendant, it will give you problems on your body. If you have problems or issues to deal with, not the whole phase, but yes, sometime it happens in two and a half months. Um, then Moon, if you have Moon, then it is definitely Sarasati for you mentally. So this is a challenging phase for you. What happens, you know, you are going to be having a lot of uh, uh, responsibility to deal with right now. You have to establish a stronger sense of identity. You're looking for that. How I can be recognized, how I can do well. So with this transit, you're going to be getting, you're going to be coming out of that zone. Maybe somebody, you know, as your community you move around in or somebody who is very attached to you, close to you will give you that kind of, the social network will give you that kind of relief, will bring you out. That support that you need will bring you out of the uh, challenges that you are entrapped in. So this is definitely a very positive time period for you. Any which way it's going to give you the challenges, but it is going to help you. Now this transit is giving you, giving you that uh, ray of hope. Okay. So this is like, you know, it is about your... Um, but you should support, you know, you should support the underprivileged. You should support the community, the humanitarian goals. Go to a hospital, um, serve the needy, serve the old, serve the orphans. You know, there is a lot of suffering in the world. A lot of suffering in the world. Come out of that cocoon and see what the other people are going through and forget, leave aside your problems first. Then you will be able to see from that perspective. Saturn wants you to do that, isn't it, in the first house? Why is it there in your first house? After 30 years, it's there. So it is going to be giving you some, some enlightenment, no? So be more, you know, navigate through this yourself. How you can, you know, um, uh, just overcome the feeling of isolation and feeling of uh, your personal aspirations and how, keep that aside. Consider other people, for a change first, okay? And it is not a solo uh, a solo success, never. It is a collective progress. It's a collective success that we all enjoy. Suppose, you know, somebody who is, uh, you know, being promoted, for example, Mark Zuckerberg, you know, he reaches a pinnacle of success, yes, he has. Now, he doesn't have anybody to share with, uh, you know, he's solo, he's in the solitude and no relatives, no friends, no marriage, nothing. It's of no use. It's of no use. So we are complete when we are with other people, with when we are collective. Yes, 
if I'm just making a video and you're not looking at me, you're not watching the videos, what's the point? Appreciate, non-appreciative, whatever. But it is all collective, no? I am because of you all. You are doing whatever you're doing because of your own surroundings, your own family, your own people around you, isn't it? So challenges may arise in navigating social dynamics, overcoming feelings of isolation and achieving your personal aspirations is the theme of this transit. Also, you need to emphasize on your inner growth, now. okay, on your uh, subconscious level. Okay, how I can be a better person, how I can be of help to others. Maybe you're going for a retreat or something, you know, and you're going to be changing a lot during this transit. There will be some challenges which may arise and their hidden fears will be there, insecurities will be there. But this is the time period which is going to change you towards better, for sure. You're going to be finding that inner peace now, that wisdom that you're, you know, that wisdom prevails. <laughs> It is that kind of a transit for you. You will you will definitely be working through yourself, your own personality, your own persona. You, uh, you're going to be overcoming your insecurities. Even if you have insecurities, you're going to be taking on, the, on them. You are getting that kind of a uh, uh, opportunity. Also, it is going to be um, about your financial stability. You're feeling quite insecure about your financials also. So you might just find somebody who is going to be helping you with your finances. You're going to be having some delays and frustrations and losses, etc. And then you will be adopting a very different approach to make money now. So this is going to be, it's paving a way. It's opening this. Sky is the limit. That kind of a phase you're heading to. Jupiter is expansive, no? Very expansive. And this is also a very, uh, you know, um, spiritual and uh, very intense nakshatra. So you're going to be experiencing that, uh, you know, shifts now. Suddenly, you know, you're going to be shifting your mindset, your way of looking at finances, expenditures, savings. You're going to be meeting those kinds of people who can help you arrange or manage your resources and finances as well. Don't self-doubt. The moment you will start doubting yourself, there is a downhill. Okay. So use this transit really well. Okay, I would request you to utilize this time period, which is an opportunity coming through your way. Okay, that's what I have done the Navatara Chakra also. You can just refer to the dates and the degrees. If you have any grahas in those degrees, they are sensitive degrees. So you need to be really careful if you have. So you need to take care of your health. You need to take care of your relationship. You need to take care of your, your, uh, uh, your uh, mental setup also. And you have to uh, plan your journeys well during that time period. Okay. So that's what <clears throat> coming to. And I've given the remedies also in the beginning part that they are really going to be helpful, I'm sure. Very simple and doable remedies and they are going to be helpful. So do the remedies well. Coming to the next sign, which is the last one, which is Pisces. Okay. Now, for Pisces natives, uh, this transit is as it is happening in your 12th house. You know, the 12th house energy is like, you know, beginning of the Sarasati and people will say, oh, we are experiencing a lot of issues and, you know, our, uh, you know, uh, expenditures, fears, and, you know, we are having a lot of insecurity, some self-destructive uh, bouts also you get. So, you must understand that this is the time when you're going to be having that ray of hope now, which is actually opening doors to the bigger, uh, bigger uh, successes in your life. This is also going to be, uh, the emphasis is going to be on your career now, on your career overseas connections. So blend it like that. You will encourage individuals to pursue um, you know, um, who are working around you, in and around you, your family members, all of them, you know, to set the goals now. You're going to be the key person to achieve those goals. You're helping them set the goals and you're going to be helping others to achieve and get successful also. There will be some leadership role that you'll be assigned, some new tasks coming your way. You're going to be 
actually working really very hard now. You're going to be overcoming the challenges also, but you cannot do it all by yourself. Remember, the collectivity is the key to your success and to others' success also. How you will manage your professional skills, how you can upgrade yourself, all these will be the theme of this transit or in Purvabhadra. So you need to uh, deal with the authorities, with the co-workers really, really very carefully and you have to manage your managerial skills, responsibilities also very well so that you can uh, deal with the challenges, you can overcome the challenges that you are experiencing. Okay, Focus on your social networks, aspirations, your for friendships. You must encourage you know to cultivate supportive relationships during this time you cannot do it all alone it has to be a collective progress so you need to work on your financials on your investments uh, take the help and advice of the community you move around with and also the experts this might bring about some challenges in your uh, you know achieving those personal aspirations but at the end of the day, you will definitely be successful. Uh, your uh, emphasis will be more on spirituality, solitude, and subconscious mind. Oh, I should do this for that person, you know. Oh, I didn't do that. You know, those regrets come in. So that kind of an energy you will be experiencing now. Oh, why did, the hell did I do that to that person, that guilt? So what happens when this, these kind of things happen? You become very self-destructive also at times. So you need to depend on just imagine that you are in that tunnel and there's just a small ray that sun ray sunlight you know falling in that so there is always a ray of hope for everyone there are always some challenges everybody goes through the hidden fears the insecurities the losses the addictions the destructive nature and all those you know lack of peace all those things those come in bouts to everyone on this planet. So this is the time to self-introspect rather than, you know, just being in that particular uh, situation because this is a very, very intense nakshatra, very spiritual nakshatra. So if you will hear the summary part, you will know what nakshatra is this. So you need to actually confront everything well. You have to accept your situation as it is. Only then the... Uh, new beginnings will be there you will be connecting with people in a very different way you will be now accepting those challenges and rising as well okay you will be <clears throat> the awareness you know that uh, wisdom uh, actually prevails so this is the time of taking the responsibility now take the challenges now so become strong this is going to give you that self-identity that you're looking for this is completely a spiritual, uh, you know, lecture only, we can say. It's on the philosophical level, this Saturn's transit going to impact everyone. Globally. Globally. Because if you keep your family happy, I can tell you the world becomes happy. So you need to redefine your self-image. Your sense of identity will become very strong. And challenges will be there. You will be able to overcome those challenges, those insecurities. Now you are the leader. Become that leader. And once you're the leader, definitely you're going to be helping others also. Now this is the time period when you will do really well in your community. This is the time period where you will be well known for your work, for your, uh, you know, for your um strength, how you can um, be a very, uh, you know, integral part in someone's life. So be that. Focus on those energies. All right. So this is what this transit is about. And I'm sure uh, uh, you will refer to the remedies in the beginning part, Navatara Chakra also, everything is in the beginning part. Until unless you hear what is Saturn in Puro Bhadra, you will not understand the intense transit which we are going to be experiencing on the 6th of April. And we will start experiencing beforehand because we are heading to eclipses also. Eclipses as it is are very intense. The energies are very intense. So on the global level, you know, what will happen? People will come to know about, you know, their, uh, their inner um, uh, demons also. 
So I think as far as the mundane prediction is concerned, you know, the wars, etc. you know, these are, the wars are actually, you know, it's just about the power. You know, everybody is just running after the power and few leaders who are actually, you know, because of their own selfish motive, the innocent people get entrapped, they get killed. So that is something that, you know, bothers me a lot. I try to be, uh, you know, a part of uh, the goodness around. I want to add the goodness in others. And of course, I uh, visit hospitals myself. I visit uh, the you know, orphanage, you know, blind schools. So it's something that, you know, if God has given me something, if I'm privileged in some areas, I do have my set of problems. Don't think that there's no problem to be in. Uh, if it was like if uh, only Brahma can change my destiny or everybody's destiny, you know. So we have to go through our karma. I must have done something wrong, something good. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. So that's why I say, you know, that if you have got this opportunity, make the best use of this time, you know, to help others grow who are not in that level. That's the only way we can quit our karmas, no? So. That's what. So have a great Saturn's ingress in Purva Vadra. And if at all you have any doubts, please feel free to write in the comment section. Uh, if you want to know about the Navatara Chakra even more, so you can definitely write in the comment section. I'm always around. Thank you so much for watching my videos and accepting me as I am. Thank you so much for that. God bless you all. We are not here to compete. We are here to complete each other. All the best. Om Tatsat.